Andrew Breitbart, a man who investigated cover-ups and controversies and also played a big role in feeding the news cycle over the past few years, has died at the age of 43. This changed in the last few years. Conservatives used to take it and we're not taking it anymore. Andrew Breitbart was a best-selling author and conservative crusader who took on the community activist group ACORN and was behind the investigations that led to the controversial firing of USDA official Shirley Sherrod and the resignation of former New York Congressman Anthony Weiner. It was the Weiner case where Breitbart famously just minutes before the congressman would admit he was the one who had not told the truth. Everything that I've said so far has come to be true. I'd like to hear one. The media says Breitbart lies, Breitbart lies, Breitbart lies, Breitbart lies. Give me one example of a provable lie. One. One. Journalists, one. Put your reputation on the line here. One provable lie. Breitbart helped change the way we know social media and the news. Websites he either started or ran until his death reach about 20 million different people every day. Sites like Big Government and Breitbart.tv. But he also helped start the Huffington Post before it turned hard left and was known for his longtime work on the Drudge Report. Breitbart kept a busy schedule between websites, television appearances, and speaking engagements across the country. Somewhat prophetically, in the conclusion of his recent book, Righteous Indignation, he wrote, quote, I love my job. I love fighting for what I believe in. I love having fun while doing it. I love reporting stories that the complex refuses to report. I love fighting back. I love finding allies. And famously, I enjoy making enemies. At the end of the day, I can look at myself in the mirror and I sleep very well at night.